everybody's running and the world is so crazy. People work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some bangs. Better hurry up, just got some days. Playing games, hanging out, roller coaster, there's no doubt. Go to the mall, lot of fun, pizza ride. Everyone has things they hope for. World peace, an end to hunger, universal equality. But there's one thing Carver and Laura and Tish and I have hoped for. A day we'd never dreamed we'd see. The reopening of Tesla Park. It was the greatest amusement park of them all. And it's been closed for years. But this Sunday is the grand reopening. It's going to be just 100 people, invitation only. No lines, unlimited re-rides, and everything's free. We have to get invitations. You understand? This is the best thing ever. I know I've said that before, but I was wrong. I was misinformed by my people. If it gets any more exciting than this, my nervous system will overload and I'll burst into flames. <laughs> Huzzah! The grand opening approaches. Okay, time for pizza. Your pizza, should you choose to accept it, is a pepperoni with extra cheese. <laughs> Guys, there has to be some way we can get invitations to this thing. Nothing we've tried has worked. But all we did was stand outside the park and look sad. Hey, it works when I want to advance on my allowance. I have a plan that just might work. A late night commando raid. On what? Oh, so I have to figure out everything, is that it? Ooh, ooh, I know. I heard they gave helpers helping the helpless some tickets to give to their top helpers. You know, as thank yous. Great! All we have to do is go volunteer and work really, really hard. Oh, dude, it was perfect up to the work really hard part. Yeah, I'm with Laura. Isn't there some way to do this that preserves our essential laziness? If there is, I can't think of it. It seems like our only chance. Okay, let's do it. But if I break a sweat, someone's gonna pay. We gotta get these invitations or I'll be scarred for life. You know, I swear. I, I want this to... is like the whole reason I was born. Hey. I'd swallow a bowling ball Hello. if that would help. But, um, you just need sure a bowl of would... fish eyes. <laughs> that got your attention, huh? Good. I just wanted to tell you that I have a date tomorrow night. What? What? Here's where you say, that's great, Mom. I'm so happy for you. A date? With a man? Are you nuts? What, what do you know about him? Have you had him investigated? I was afraid of this. You feel threatened, don't you? Threatened? <laughs> don't, don't be ridiculous. What What I feel is I feel concerned for you. I'm, I'm just worried. This guy could be an escaped criminal, a foreign spy, a phone solicitor. Honey, calm down. It's just a date. I mean, it's not like this guy is going to be your new dad or anything. New dad? New dad? Oh, man. I hadn't even thought of that. Thanks for putting a brand new fear in my head, Mom. Now I won't sleep at all tonight. <sighs> Honey, meet your new dad, Mr. Bloatswine. Well, well, well. What a charming boy. I'll leave you two to get acquainted. Yes, a charming boy. A strong boy. But not strong enough to foil my invasion. <laughs> Back off, alien slug beast. Or face the wrath of Captain Dreadnought and his sidekick... Junior Dreddy, the nuclear boy. Oh, look. It's Martin Van Buren. Down with the cotton gin! Down with the cotton gin! Man, I gotta remember not to eat fish eyes right before bed. <clears throat> Durian is a tropical fruit popular throughout southeastern Asia. It is said to be the most delicious fruit in the world. But its smell has been compared to rotting fish and unwashed socks. Huh, you guys are not gonna believe this. My mom is totally going out on a date with a man! Okay, turn off the panic tap, Tino. It's about time your mom had a date. <laughs> Blasphemer! Well, she's been divorced for what, like eight years now? Yeah, but she's always been pretty cool, right? Just going out on a date's not gonna change anything. Tino, you're obviously overreacting because you're afraid this will take your mom's attention away from you. What are you talking about? That doesn't make any sense at all. Sure it does. It's just like that very special episode of Teen Canyon. The one where Kyle's mom went out with Melora's dad. All right. And at the end, Mrs. Potsby, the kindly guidance counselor, told Kyle his mom would always be his mom no matter what. Hey, that's kind of a good point. Uh, maybe I am overreacting. Wow. What would we do without TV? We might have to learn these lessons for ourselves. Okay, I'll give this guy a chance. But he better not turn out to be an alien slug beast. What? I'd like to thank all you helpers for coming down here to help at Helpers Helping the Helpless. And I'd like to assure you that your help is very helpful. 
And if anyone finds my thesaurus, please let me know. Mrs. Dwong, Mrs. Dwong, yeah, my friends and I would like to do the absolute maximum amount of helping possible. Well, whoever said today's young people aren't interested in volunteer work? Yes, Mrs. Weems, it was you who said it. Very good. All right, let's start today's project. Cheerful and cheerful. Did she just say cheerful? We'll be using scrap lumber to build chairs for the needy. Okay, I haven't just broken a sweat. I've shattered a sweat into a million pieces. But just think of all the good we're doing for the needy. They sit in one of my chairs, they'll wind up even needier. Uh, does anyone remember what a chair actually looks like? Hey, there you go. Now those are chairs, Mr... Dixon. Call me Dixon. Why are your chairs so much better than ours? Well, I put myself through grad school working as a carpenter. Grad school? I have a master's degree in English literature. Oh my gosh, that is totally what I want to major in. Have you read Edmund Spencer's The Fairy Queen? Oh, happy earth, whereon thy innocent feet do ever tread. You are the greatest person in existence! You must be here to pick up our donations. They're right over there. Thank you for donating your youth center blocks to our Samantha Bonds of Friendship program. They will be used in the construction of a warehouse to store future center block donations. Ugh. Man, you must be carrying like a hundred pounds. This is nothing. I used to do the caber toss in the Scottish games. The Scottish games? I love the Scottish games. Did you do the sheep toss? How about the farmer's walk? First place in both. You are my hero. Shoes for the barefoot. Come on, people. We're putting the you back in shoe. We are never going to get rid of all these shoes. And no wonder. Look at this. Vinyl uppers? It's a travesty. I hear you. Check out the insole on... Wait. Are you a shoe fancier? Oh, sure. I used to design shoes for Tommy Hugo. <gasps> my man! I think my favorite episode of Teen Cannon is the one where Louise discovers the cure for osteochondritis dissecans. Dixon, why do you know so much about, well, non-adult stuff like, like Teen Canyon? I pick up a lot from my daughter, Moira. She's 14. Wow, you are so way old! Oh. <laughs> it's okay. My spine keeps telling me the same thing. Whoa, it can't be. Captain Dreadnought number 27? The, the first, first appearance, appearance of, of Junior, Junior Dreddy. Dreddy. You're a Captain Dreadnought fan? Are you kidding? Back off, alien, alien slug beast. beast. <laughs> I told you there are people besides me who like Captain Dreadnought. We won't hold it against him. Okay, what name do you like for the alley cleaning project? Alley oop grade or cleanliness is next to alleyness? Gee, they're both so good. You know, despite all that hard work, I gotta say, helping the community was pretty rewarding. It's true. You said it. Of course, it'll be a lot more rewarding if we get those Tesla Park invitations. It's true. You said it. I know how your mom feels. I couldn't date for years after my divorce. But I'm going out with a very nice woman tonight. So you're saying my mom's date is a hideous mistake she'll regret for the rest of her life? Hello? Issues much? What? I'm saying you gotta give your mom a chance. Just bagging on her date isn't gonna do anyone any good. Yeah, but it's fun. <laughs> <sighs> I just wish you could be going out with someone as cool as you. Thank you, helpful assistance. Your aid has been very useful today. And an extra thanks to Dixon for finding my thesaurus. That was a really big easement. As a special thanks, I have somewhere... Ah! Four invitations to the grand reopening of Tesla Park for our number one helper, yep. Tony Weems, who's been volunteering since a scrap metal drive of 1917. Our doughboys gave the Kaiser what for? Here you go, Mrs. Weems. Oh, dear. I can't go on those rides with my sciatica. I'll give them to someone who can use them. This strapping young fellow here. Why, thank you, Mrs. Weems. But actually, I already have a few invitations, so I guess I'll give them to someone else. Hmm. Let's go, guys. That's it. Our last chance gone. We have to keep trying. Maybe we could get plastic surgery to look like famous people. Yeah, famous people get invited to everything. Ooh, I want to be Tiger Woods. Forget it, guys. It's over. You still haven't figured it out, huh? Figured what out? I'm the guy your mom's going out with tonight. Hello? Which means you get the invitations. All right! You hear that? My mom is going out with Dixon, the official coolest adult in the world. And as a little added bonus, Tesla Park! Yo, T, it's that time. Huh? Oh, uh, right. We gotta take a break. But, uh, you totally have to stick around. I'm gonna wait right here. And if you're not there when we come back, I will be so not talking to you. Okay? Okay. Oh, man, I was super worried you were gonna ditch us. Thanks for waiting. Oh, we gotta show this thing again. Hang on. I can't believe we're really going to the grand reopening of Tesla Park. I have to remember this moment, because my life might never get any better. 
how do you feel, Tino? Your mom's going out with, like, the coolest grown-up in history. Well, Tish, I have to admit, I was worried about the whole mom dating thing. But this is great. Dixon is so cool. Not only does he like all the same comic books I like, but he can kick himself in the back of the head. <laughs> Wait, is that cool or just weird? Hard to say. It's right on the edge. Okay, I know I was down on you about this before, Mom, but I totally support you going out with Dixon. He's the best. Um, just so you know, honey, I'm having a major clothes crisis, so I may have to start screaming soon. I mean, I love Dad and everything, and I'm not looking for a substitute, but Dad's, like, all the way on the East Coast, and if I gotta have a local backup father figure, Dixon is totally the guy. Ugh, nothing fits me! Um, you know, that green dress is nice. Anyway, I'm really looking forward to us going to Tesla Park tomorrow. You and me and Dixon and his daughter Moira and Carver and Lauren Tish, it's gonna be amazing! Wow. You clean up good, Mom. You look like you should be on TV. Okay, if you're trying to get a raise in your allowance, you're saying all the right stuff. My point is that Dixon would make you an excellent second husband. Tino, this is a first date, capiche? Don't start shopping for a wedding present yet. Okay, sorry. Unless it's a blender. We could really use a new blender. Ooh, I gotta go. I'll be back by 10. You have my pager number. There's a seaweed casserole in the oven for dinner. Bye-bye. Seaweed casserole. You see what I have to put up with? Honey, meet your new dad, Dixon. I'll leave you two to get acquainted. So, ever see anyone do this? Foolish humans, cower before my might! <laughs> it's time to show this alien slug beast what us humans are made of. Face the wrath of Captain Dreadnought and his sidekick, Junior Dreddy, the nuclear boy. Oh, look, it's Martin Van Buren. Down with the cotton gin! <laughs> Down with the cotton gin! <gasps> I gotta remember not to eat seaweed casserole right before bed. Or ever. Mom! So, so, how did the date go? Great, right? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he's just not my type, or maybe I'm just not ready to... It, not your type? Not your type? What are you talking about? What is he, a blood donor? I just don't know how I feel right now, but don't worry, we're still going to Tesla Park tomorrow. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'll see you in the morning, honey. Not her type? She doesn't like him? Unacceptable! Not gonna fly! Oh man, I have super gotta fix this whole Mom Dixon thing! Go to Sunday! Guys, my mom's date with Dixon totally went belly up. We are talking roadkill on the highway of love here. Bummer. But what are you gonna do? Well, we're all going to the park together, right? I propose that we take advantage of the situation and force them to fall in love. It's a little thing I call... Operation Matchmaker. I don't know, T. Messing with your mom's love life sounds like a bad idea. My mom is making a mistake. Dixon is obviously the right guy for her, and she just can't see it. So, I'm doing her a favor, right? You see? You can justify anything with a little effort. Yep. Look, you're my friends. Are you gonna help me or not? Okay, T, we'll help. What's your plan? No idea. That's the first thing I want you to help me with. So, are you guys excited about this? Bah! Does the shorthorn mountain lizard bear live young? Yeah, it, it does. Oh. Hey, guys. I'd like everyone to meet my daughter, Moira. Hey, Hi. hello. How's it going? going? Sweet heaven above! Are those the new Tommy Hugo parachutes? The ones based on paratroopers' boots? Why, yes, they are. Thanks for noticing. A and you are... I'm... <laughs> uh, you'll have to excuse Carver. <laughs> His brain doesn't work in the presence of cool shoes. Carv? Operation Matchmaker, remember? This isn't the time to drool over Moira. Shh. I'm picturing our children. Snap out of it, man! Now I'm picturing our children's shoes. Hello, lucky invitees. Welcome to the grand reopening of Tesla Park. As you doubtless know, the park is named in honor of Nikola Tesla, the genius who pioneered alternating current and invented radio. I thought that Marconi guy invented radio. Uh-uh. In 1943, the U.S. Supreme Court officially declared Tesla to be the true inventor of radio, but for some reason, no one got around to changing their history books. Yeah, that's right. I know everything. Don't give me a hard time. I now declare Tesla Park open. Okay, guys. I thought we'd begin Operation Matchmaker by... Oh, Moira dropped her sunglasses. Carver! Oh, never mind. It's all right. We could start without... Look! Free ham on a stick! Uh-huh. Well, at least you're here to help me, Tish. Don't you worry, Tino. I won't abandon you no matter... <gasps> Oh my gosh, must experience Shakespearean water G fun. Great. Now I have no plan and no help. I guess I should try to get my mom and Dixon alone together? Well, you try coming up with something better.
alternating current will bring about an edge of technological perfection. Dude, let's do that game with the squirt rifles and the ducks. I can't. I have to work on Operation Matchmaker. Tito, 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 come on, let's try that Zeno Zero ride. I can't. I have to work on Operation Matchmaker. European straight lace may require a longer shoelace, but it's far more stylish than the standard American zigzag. It is so great to meet someone who really understands shoelaces. Hey, T, you gotta go on this one ride. It's called the Spinanum. I can't. I have to work on Operation Matchmaker. Don't even ask, because I can't. I have to work on Operation Match the hot dog to the bun. Oh, look, here's a match. I win. Uh, hot dog. You know, I hear the only works of man that can be seen from space are the Great Wall of China and you trying to get me together with your mom. Have you ever considered entering the world's sarcasm competition? Come on, champ. I think we should talk. Why did you want to talk here? It seemed like a good idea at the time. Tino, neither your mother or I are really, really ready for a relationship. I know your parents split up a long time ago. So did, so did my ex-wife and I. But sometimes, well, sometimes it takes a long time to get over it. Yeah, I guess. You just can't rush these things, Tino. Okay, now let's get off this ride before we both Might not make it. This is so cool. Thanks for letting the kids do this, Mr. Chenoweth. I wish I could say I was just being nice, but it'll make a great publicity shot for the park. Over here, folks. Parents, could you get a little closer together? Us? But we... we're not... Oh, loosen up. Hmm. Did I see a little spark there? Maybe all hope is not lost in the Mom and Dixon department. Mom, I don't know if you noticed, but I was sort of trying to force you and Dixon together earlier. Oh, <gasps> really? Gosh, I didn't notice at all, because my head was encased in a block of wax. Okay, I guess it was kind of obvious. Tino, I know you want Dixon and me to like each other. Mom, I promise I won't mess with your social life anymore. Well, it's not that. I'm just worried that it's hard for you, being the only one of your friends who doesn't have a father at home. I don't know. I don't remember what it was like with Dad around. Anyway, what are you gonna do? Marry some guy just so I have a dad? <laughs> yeah, right. Mom... I think we'll be just fine the way we are. Yeah, we probably will be. Although I understand Dixon makes a very comfortable living. Give it a rest, sweetie, huh? Sorry we bailed on Operation Matchmaker, you know. Yeah, this park is just so hard to resist. Don't sweat it. You know, looking out on the beauty of this sunset, I have to believe that the world is good, and that everything will work out for the best. Yeah. So you're saying you think they'll get the Ferris wheel fixed soon? I hope so. We've been stuck here almost an hour. Do not panic. Unnecessary movement may cause the wheel to collapse. Well, no reason for you to stick around. Later days. Later days.